So these are the parts you should get with your kit. This is what goes into the mirror and into the support of your car. And this is a screw that will keep this part attached and stuck in place. And that will also avoid a bit of wiggle. So this screw goes here. So there's this cavity as you can see. The screw goes here. And then you can use the Torx T35 to just screw it in. And as you can see here, it will go further and further in. There should not be much resistance. And then here you'll see start popping out and this is what creates the pressure. So obviously the more you screw it, the more pressure you have. Just be a bit careful not to break it and not to break anything in your car. So I'm around one meter 78 and this is how the mirror on its normal position looks for me. So this is roughly my eye level. And as you can see, it blocks quite a bit of the view like there's only this much this much space left so by installing the kit what we'll try to do is to move this top edge of the mirror up towards this plastic cover so that then we'll have a bigger space here i'll show you then how to do it if i can show you so the first thing to remove is this tiny lid as you see here and to that to do that you will use this trim removal tiny tool that you have on your kit so you just go here to this edge and you just flick it if you flick here you'll, you'll see that this pops out oh, you have to put it in the edge and then you see that this tiny lid if you twist it it will push this and I'll just put the camera on the bottom because it's just easier okay so so this is the lid, right? And now that we got it out, we just need to remove, see if I can show you, see, there's a tiny screw there. You just need to remove that, that screw. I'm gonna use a Torx 20, cause that's a Torx 20 screw. And you just, well, you don't need to fully unscrew the screw actually. You just can just unscrew it a bit. And then you'll feel that the mirror has become loose and you can just, push this like this and this should hang like that you see so this is what you want to achieve now this is the part that's part of your kit uh, you want to screw this in this plastic screw but you don't want to screw it too much so it should sit flush with the rest of the part so here this is this is completely flush now and you want to put this part into your mirror first so this is this is the first thing to do So after you've put it, you just want to screw that screw back on and you screw it in as much as you can until this thing cannot wiggle around anymore. Okay. So now that this is in, you need to put this back, right? How it was. You see there's a there's a metal let me show you there's there's like a metal part in there you can see it here and that's the metal part that will mate with with this 3D printed part that you just got so you, you want to push this you want to push this as far as far forward as you can and then you you want to line them up and you just want to then put them in
Now, so now that's a bit in, so it's not fully in yet. We just want to keep wiggling it back and forth so it just goes all the way as much back as possible. When it's fully back, it should kind of look like this. So that's how it looks like when it sits flush. And now you can just grab, I'm gonna switch tips. You can just grab a Torx 35, as we saw before. And you just want to tighten this up. Put it here and you just rotate. Don't tighten it too much. Just give it some strength and that's good. Okay, this doesn't move from here. So now it's after the installation. As you can see, there's a fair bit more space. A fair bit more space in here. Uh, this is again high level, right? So you, you can see you can see my face in the mirror, and you can see like the back. So the the mirror is in the perfect position to to be used. Uh, and there's quite a bit more more space compared to before. Now. Uh, because this is plastic, um, there is a couple of vibration that will pass through. So this this thing, I mean, the mount is quite solid, but uh, it still vibrates more due to the plastic, right? And the cheap solution, and so you can buy this this kind of thing. Um, in Germany, it's called Patafix, and, and there's a black version, right? I only have the white version with me now, uh, but there's also a black version of these, and you can just make it. I mean, you remove a bit. In. This, this may be the size, the size of a bean, right? This is sort of like the size of a bean. You make it really flat, you can kind of roll it like this, right? Just roll it like somewhere. Maybe this is even too big, right? I'm gonna, gonna take another, another bit out of it. So I'm just rolling it, rolling it. Yeah, not like a joint. And so when you get something like this right you can just put this at the top edge just move your mirror a bit down you put this at the top edge like this up and then you can just push your mirror back into place right and i mean mind you mine mine is white so you can see it a bit uh but i can guarantee you if yours is black <laughs> no one will notice that and now, now it's perfect. I mean, now the mirror is completely stuck in place. I swear to you, it will not vibrate. And I'll put a video here uh, of me actually driving on the racetrack, so in the Nürburgring, with this thing on, and you'll see it's it's perfect. As you can see from the inside, you cannot notice anything. Uh, if we look from here, I mean, it's a bit dark, but yes, you will see that uh, there's like the the lid is missing, right? Um, I'm going to make and I will design a lid to fit in this, but it's not available yet. Just uh, stay tuned. And this is how it looks from the outside, right? You, you, you cannot see it. I mean, it's, it's very hard to perceive that uh, anything was, was actually changed. So, yeah. And that's the Yaris. <laughs>